guys, welcome to our Halo Season 2, Episode 3, Visegrad Review, uh, where we continue <laughs> the epic Paramount journey into correcting and trying to give us a, a I don't know, a better Halo show. Uh, so after the two episode, episode debut, I was curious where are they taking this? Uh, we hate Rubble. We don't know what they're doing with Quan. I don't even think they know what they're doing with Quan. And uh, so we, we, we try to set up some more uh, uh, story here in mm -hmm. Visingrad. This is uh, basically kind of a, a tee up to the events that is coming down. Okay, so not, mo not a lot of action in this one. But a lot of, uh, you know, character moments and character development. And uh, so what did you guys think of episode three? Um, I think it's getting back on the right track as opposed to season one. Uh, I did enjoy some of it, but the pacing on it, I hate. Mm, okay. Like, I'm interested in some things, but then all of a sudden... We go to fucking Rebel. Okay. And to that poor salt yeah. in that wound, it's Quan. Nonstop yeah. Quan. I'm like, Quan. I'm like, come on. Let's yeah. focus on the real issue right now. Can we just please, for the love of God, focus on the Spartans yes. and what's going on on Reach? Yeah. Just have one working. episode like that. That's it. It's Don't working. fucking leave. I like those yes, elements. Yes. They even give Ackerson a little <laughs> bit more depth here with, with his dad. Yeah. Scene with his dad. This is stuff that's like, this okay, is all great. if you're going to flesh the out the Halo universe, if you're really going to stretch it on out so that we can really build the Fall of Reach, I guess later on in the season, they're saving that little nugget for us, uh, you know, and build it up. That's This is good stuff to do it. The scene with Ackerson and, mm -hmm. and Admiral Keyes was excellent. Yes. Uh, you know, we, we get more. The intro of this one was pretty good, too. It's like, hey. Uh, they're going to go out and see what, hap what happened to Silver Team. Yeah. Or a Cobalt, Cobalt Team. Cobalt, Cobalt Team. And I was like, okay, let's fucking go. I right. like this. And I know we sound like a broken record, but that's just not interesting to us. We don't want to see anything in Rebel and what's yes. going on with the we fucking pirates. We sound like a broken record, but we need to emphasize and it anyway because stuff. this is what we had the yeah. problems with. Alex, what are you thinking? Yeah, I, I think some of this stuff is cool. I mean, the problem is that we know that there's juicy bits coming. We There are things that are working. But the majority of this episode aren't those bits. Yeah. Like, there is a lot of stuff dealing with characters that we don't care about. And then, you know, I get this whole we need to pay lip service to the lore and Ackerman hates Halsey and hates the Spartans program. But it feels this fucking big when you're facing global annihilation. I don't like this woman because she did my, my sister died. It's like, cool. Like, maybe we don't... Uh, sacrifice our best our second best team yeah. alienate our first best team when you're talking about an overall war and so it's like it just i know it's what is there he doing this is the wrong time to explore the mm. i want to destroy the spartan program and create my own that's better this is the um, wrong fucking time because yeah. he knows that every man woman and child on the planet are about to die mm. and so him being like i'm being petty feels wrong this is the wrong time to explore that so any second that we're dealing with him you know, like throwing his best weapons away. I just don't care. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. And if you like it, great. I yeah, just, it seems I, some people are liking the Ackerson Halsey scenes here. Sure, uh, give them to me in five just, episodes from now. Once, right. hey, once the reach has fallen, and they're trying to decide to like rebuild humanity and what to do, and he's and he's like really gonna. I'm gonna make sure that you know you're not part of this whole rebuilding process. That makes sense. It just this now. this is wrong. The timing is wrong to do it now, and it just feels bad. Yeah, and I there's just, there's just too much of this episode that I don't care about. Yeah, uh, so I am in most agreement. I think it's a good setup for what we're getting in the future. I think Rubble, again, just like in Episode 2, derails some of the forward momentum that yeah. we're building. I think there's good individual scenes here. I think focusing on, uh, you know, Riz, uh, focusing on John. John is essentially going rogue in this episode. I liked all the elements. Yes. Searching for Silver Team. They go in. They got their helmets oh, on. It's yeah. a fucking tactical mission in the beginning and they start yeah. to realize wait a minute where's our air, air support and they realize that john kind of did this on his own we got nobody but us and i'm like all right cool they're still with him and then they get in there and uh, they get arrested a bunch of marines show up and point guns in their faces and then they point guns in the officers faces and it's a cool scene and i like this he's like stand down he's like get out of my way 
I'm like, fuck Where's yes. Cobalt? <laughs> right. And uh, ultimately, um, I think that this episode, uh, I, on the whole, is maybe about as good as episode two, maybe slightly better. Because it seems like they're kind of wrapping up the Quan Rubble thing. No, they're not. I well, just Rubble, want yes, them to get away yeah. from Rubble and yeah. converge. And it seems like they're moving those characters uh, somewhat. So I guess that's why I give it a slight edge to episode But three. now they're going to go to Reach and they're going to combine them. Yeah. I, I want Quan to I just, uh, you know, have purpose here. I don't know what her purpose is. If you're going to keep Quan, just just get rid of her. Give her a glorious death on Reach. That that could be good. Maybe she enables. That's what we said in the first season. I don't know. <laughs> it didn't happen. Cortana and, and, and Master Chief to link back up. I, I don't know how they're planning on using her. Quan... But here is the point that I'm trying to make is that why does Paramount insist on, on, on carrying over some of these elements? You have a new showrunner. You don't need to be holden to season one. Just wrap these you things the up that you don't the work. You have an out. And you you half-assed you're out, so now you have to string the viewer along, and, and it's almost like not wanting to admit that they fucked up in season one. You know what I mean? I kind of wish Quan is the new Cortana now. <laughs> it's it's going to be nonstop. Put a Quan in his jaw. I will never watch this show again. And Quan is the new blue Cortana. No, she's like a gold Cortana because she's better, Joe. That's the right. There you so, go. <laughs> it's going to happen. No, no. Okay, we're being silly. But yeah. episode three, like I said, not a whole lot of action. More character mm -hmm. moments. More building of the fall of Reach. Um, and John is now rogue. And essentially what we get in this episode, I guess the big fucking final reveal is that Maki is in fact real. So my, my fucking guesstimate in my prediction in season one was correct. And Maki, there's no way she's died. She's dead. She got to have a baby. Right. And well, no, Alex. <laughs> no. What do you mean? Right. No, there's no Halo baby. Are they like Don't space you Marines? Don't fucking put no Halo the baby in like Halo. Space Marines? Lame. Well, besides that. Oh, no. And, and, uh, and the Covenant are on reach. <laughs> and essentially, Ackerson knows it. And it's revealed in his conversation with Keyes that he's like, I'm, you know, I, we're going to die. Or this is going to happen. I'm keeping it under wraps. And we're going to save as many people as we can. And we're going to not fight. We're going to basically get, we're going to do a little bit of fighting. And yeah, we're going to evacuate. And, those tests and, then and, like, and Keyes is like, you know, fuck, fuck your what tests, the, yes. <laughs> why did you do this? Why are one of our best teams? Fuck you. We're fighting. This is my home. But it's an, it's an, it's a great scene because, you know, you understand Admiral Keyes and you understand Ackerson. Ackerson's not wrong. They have done all the simulations. You are going to lose on reach. And so you have to basically, you know, save what you can and not cause the mass panic. So this is where the good drama comes from. And then and then you skip to rubble and you've got Soren's wife running and from pirates. And we're like, oh, with her right. plastic face. Yeah, Joe, I just didn't want to say it. She's, she's, lip she's got so much fucking work done. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, so. Let, let's go final verdicts and make it a shorter review, but then we'll go into the individual bits in the episode, what, what bits worked, what specific bits didn't, and more importantly, at the end, I kind of want to get an estimate from you guys on where they're going. Like, how do you think that they're going to set this up? Because I have some predictions on, you know, I, I have predictions last season. I'm going to start making predictions about Quan, Soren, and Halsey, and, you know, uh, silver team. Because as we know, I, I, I was thinking about it more. I'm like, okay, we're really building silver team this season. But when you think about it, Master Chief on Halo is Master Chief on Halo. There's no, there's no silver team, Joe. So what do you think is going to happen? There's no Quan in Halo either. There's no Quan there's in no Halo. There's no Rubble in there's Halo. There's no Maki in there's Halo. There's no one of those. So it's like they're, they're do doing... You think, what, do you think Silver Team's just going to galvanize with him and, and run around on Halo? 
I don't think so. Maybe they could, but I think they're trying to build towards Master Chief and Cortana as a solo thing on on Halo, as we've known from the games with Marine support. Yeah. But okay, so let let's give final verdicts on Episode Three. <laughs> what did we give the last one? Oh, well, uh, fuck. Um, I don't we'll know. Cause, yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, because I'm thinking between a five or six. I think I gave the last one a five. I have no idea what you gave. The, what yeah, I think we're all on the same board with. Yeah. Okay, the first one is seven. Is a combination of mm-hmm. nine for the first sixteen minutes yeah. and six for the rest. So that's seven. Y'all gave it a seven, and then episode two was a five. I think maybe one of y'all had a four. Yeah. Know. Um, I do like a little. Uh, Majority of this stuff, well, as long as we weren't a rebel and stuff, I'll probably go go with the six. Be yeah. nice at this time. I did enjoy it. I liked the intro stuff. I liked uh, him going rogue. Mm-hmm. Um, no one believing him, I guess. But like, they don't really do anything with that because like Kai's like, you know what, you're right. And then now what's happening is like, well, John was right. Never mind. I'm gonna shut up. I was like, okay, you didn't really go anywhere with that. Yeah. So, meh. I, 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 okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with the six, and again, uh, I don't care for the other stuff. Just keep it on reach. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's hard to enjoy a lot of uh, of what's in this episode when you know what's coming and you know that what they should be focusing on. Yeah, I, I just I'm really not liking any of the Ackerman thing. I think that the whole trope I'm gonna withhold information from people that absolutely should have this information in order to create false tension. Uh, feels forced and it's not I don't think it's possible that someone else could have developed this in a way where it feels more believable for me I, this just isn't the team uh, to have done it I, I don't like the character I think his motivations are bad and it's a bad me and yeah and then and then there's parts of the episode that it's just like I really don't care about any like you don't matter when we're talking about again we're, we're setting up the annihilation of an entire planet the planet we're talking about the fall of reach and then we spent a whole lot of time talking about the space pirate who has nothing to do with anything his wife and son and their assassin adopted kwan ha uh person on a different it's like this stuff is so far disconnected from the fall of reach and the stuff that we should be focusing on right now it really detracts from everything that's happening so I, you know, this is the kind of thing that I think if you're running a show, you have to realize, hey, this thing, this has so much gravity. The Fall of Reach has so much gravity. We can't be teasing it and setting it up and then focusing on something else. So I think that this is something that from its inception was doomed. You cannot structure a TV show like this. For, well, for me. So I'm going to give no, it a five. I agree. Um, okay. I don't think it's yeah, bad. Fair. There's some like there's some good stuff in here because mm-hmm. I do. I like the scene with Ackerman as dad. Great. There's some really good stuff in yep. here. But. Then the other half sucked. Uh, I am also going with a 6 out of 10. I think it's slightly above average, held back only by the elements that y'all pointed out. And what I'm hoping is that uh, the showrunners are slowly, well, we've got the Quan problem, we've got these problems, and they're slowly ramping them down, okay, and trying to converge and bring them into the main plot line and make those smaller and smaller as we go along. Because if those get bigger and bigger, our scores are going to go lower and lower. Okay, and because that is not Halo, that is not what he, people are here for. That's not what they're interested they in. Care We're interested it. in the Fall of Reach. We're interested in the Halo. We're interested in Master Chief and Cortana. And I swear to God, if there's no fucking Pillar of Autumn, I'm I'm fucking out. If y'all do some stupid shit where you go through portals to get to Halo instead of the Pillar of Autumn, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, but you know, well, hopefully we're building towards something that's, that's, that's good. And may- maybe there's a lot of sacrifices made. We know that fall of reach has a lot of sacrifices a- in order to, you know, set up, uh, halo and the desperate fight, um, against the covenant where halo kind of, uh, changes the balance where, you know, covenants are searching for halo. We're searching for halo and we'll get there eventually, hopefully. All right, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, Mm -hmm. and let's go into the individual episode (laughs) breakdown. So we start with uh, Helmets On, thank God, searching for Cobalt Team, and Kai is a, does this seem right to you? You know, it's like, why? I don't know why it wouldn't be, you know, because Kai is one of those that has compassion for other Spartans, especially Riz, who's struggling. We're looking for Cobalt. And we're looking for Cobalt. What are you talking about? Why do you have a problem with this? 
And uh, Maybe so was... I'm not really buying that, but I think it's set up there for the Ackerson yeah. stuff so that we can have a scene where she comes back in the Ackerson's office and is she going to be loyal? And, mm-hmm. you know, and she's questioning his judgment. Why? Because he told her that he saw Maki and she mm-hmm. believes Maki died. She, she shot her. her. Which yeah, that, part, shot her. that part only works yeah. if, uh, again, a character that is a major focus point of the show decides to lie for no reason. Perez said, oh, yeah, I saw Maki. She was there. Right. But then and, for no reason. Uh, like, yeah. And so it's like all of this stuff is so forced because they're like, no, it's going to work. It's like you've, you've shown me that all of these yeah. characters. But know. I would rather have that forced drama on Silver Team than I would yeah. with what we get to after the credits smash. Let's talk about the credits. We never talked about them. So the Halo music, it's it's in the in the, in the actual credits this time. There's the sequence of getting him his getting his armor and dust. It's a cool sequence. I think it's better than the first first season sequence and the music makes it feel more like halo they even show the halo at the end but we aren't getting halo in this season until presumably the very last episode just like season one Uh, (laughs) just a repeat of season one kind of plotting but at least we'll get the fall of reach and that's what was sore the fall of reach replaces war crimes sex uh and and Quan Desert visions with chains. So that, to me, is going to be better overall. Um, And like I said, if there's no Pillar of Autumn by the end of this uh, season or at the beginning of season three, there's going to be hell to pay. All right, so then we get Silver Team. uh, uh, Basically, they hear the signal in this facility. Uh, They got some pounding, and it's, oh, shit, is that, you know, Covenant? Turns out to be a door. What's behind the door? Fucking another team shows up and tries to arrest uh, Master Chief. We already talked about this. This is great. I like the setup. Guns are in each other's faces. You believe Chief is just a driven man, and you you are Chief, and you want to save Cobalt Team. And he disobeys even the officer. Get the, out of my way. Opens the door. They're not there. Ah, you tricked, and you're under arrest, and you're all coming with me. But where is everyone? Yep, and... Uh, Ackerson, uh, then we go to the Ackerson dad scene. It was great. Good setup, good more characterization for him. Giving him this, you know, it, it is good overall for the show. Because if he's going to be this reoccurring character going out throughout the major player in the Fall of Reach, he needs more depth than just, I'm a villain for villain's sake kind of thing, you know. So showing him that he has stakes on Reach 2 is, is good. Um... His dad says something interesting. Don't let me, them take it, take me alive. So I'm like, what is that going to lead to? I don't, I don't know. It it gets wrapped up in the in yeah. this episode. I thought it was going to be something for the future, yeah, but too. it doesn't. Uh, so, anyways, the what happens? Oh, the Spartan team gets yelled at uh, mm-hmm. by uh, Keys. They're suspended from action. I'm like, really, man? We got a war going on. <laughs> Suspend him from action. You did, what are you doing? Oh, it's totally believable. You yeah. know why? Because they, they John, told you that it's believable. John is relieved from duty, their best soldier. You know, I get it. In real military, the motherfucker would be court martialed, but uh, Keys is like, you're not. And John's like, you're not even going to go to bat for us or something. And he's like, motherfucker, like, I'm the only reason that you aren't court martialed at all. And he's like, well, technically, the only reason I'm not court-martialed is because the Covenant is destroying the entire <laughs> human race, and I'm, like, the only one that could and do anything here. about it. Um, yeah, so then it se- we get a scene of the team kind of losing faith in John. Yes. Everybody's talking with him, making, questioning him. He's losing uh, command and everything. Yeah. Kai's, like, talking to him. He's like, I trusted you. This and that. And walks away. He's like, I'm not finished with you. Yeah. For the, <laughs> two, one, two, five. You are not dismissed. You're not you're dismissed. Just, just trying to uh, exert power, but <laughs> it, like, it nope. doesn't work. Yeah, because nope. between episode two and three, at the very end of episode two, Ch- Master Chief gets confirmation that Perez has confirmed everything that he saw and in no way that he is crazy. And between episode two Does and three, say this he to said this fucking team? nothing to his team who now consi- like constantly think he's crazy. So the show only works... Because it's, the showrunners think you're a fucking idiot. It's so, it is frustrating, and it they is. could have written it in a different way. I don't know. Just knock Perez out completely, and she's not able to fucking. Ackerman confirm. killing her would be amazing. Are know. you kid? Like, you know, how cool it would be if she's like, I need to go to the public, and he's like, for the greater good. Holy and he shoots shit! That would, you want to talk about making changes to the lore, but yet it being interesting? That's 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 great. how you solve the I problem. I will fucking kill my own soldiers well, and my own faction. He kills Cobalt. He kills. Yeah. yeah. But 
Uh, yeah, that's true, one hundred percent. And what the you fuck was he doing? Him. That's I need to know what that is. Is he did he use Cobalt Team to confirm the Covenant's already on Reach? No, he already knew Covenant knew. was on. But then, what is the point in sending Cobalt Team? That's what I thought team? he was going to tell something to Keys, but he didn't tell. There anything. better be a he good explanation for that because we see the later we see the dead bodies of Cobalt Team, and we have one of the best scenes in this episode yeah. over mm-hmm. it. But let's not get there. Yeah, we got uh, to cut to rubble. <laughs> Joe, take take rubble. So we get the wife running or something. Well, so or she's, <sighs> she feels like she's lost control of some things, and so mm-hmm. she does the thing that the only thing that she can do, she cuts her hair. Yeah. Uh, which, don't do oh, that. Oh, that's, that's, that's... How do you even notice these things, man? Oh, God. Because he's bored and he notices he's little, little details. I didn't even notice she cut her hair. Well, so like, she's I'm walking so around rubble, and then all and of a sudden... And then sh- her up. She's in, she she's in like a calf-skin onesie. Uh, she looks like quan. she's a space aristocrat, and she's going to blend in with the riffraff. And it's just like, lady... This... Is this her... CEO thing. I, she's the new leader. She's wearing high heels and she's doing like the, the full hip sway. The necklace what are we worth doing? like millions. Like yeah, whatever. Well, on okay. a pirate base. Yeah. Yeah. In Halo. She meets up with Quan. They're like, you're in trouble. She's going to meet up with Quan. Quan beats her up. <laughs> yeah. He's like, am I in trouble? Yeah, with you. Like, no, your crew. They're going to betray you. It's like, oh, I know. You got to go get Kessler. They're, they're trying. I like escape. how they're. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's that's the scene. That's right basically that's it. Yeah, yeah, I like how they're like letting Quan beat up every character that we hate yeah. <laughs> to try to make you like Quan. <laughs> Please more. like Quan. Please like Quan. We signed a <laughs> we, we signed a seven year contract <laughs> with, with this Quan. actress. We can't get rid of her. Uh, okay, so then we get that scene where Kessler's playing with Halo toys. It's like, oh shit, I have those toys. <laughs> no, I don't. I, don't, I got the, uh, the Halo ones, uh, the he- hero clicks. Yes, with the the warthog and stuff. And so he's like <laughs> playing toys yeah, with him. Yeah, he sees. Uh, but uh, this the captain and Bellatrix are there. He's like, what are you doing in my house? What? Bellatrix? Yeah, yeah. Bellatrix is From there. From Harry Potter? Yeah, I don't know. She's fucking there. <laughs> She's like, all this right, the ship, is, the ship is ready, ma'am. Let's go. He's like, you told me it's going to be a couple of days. Like, we worked all night. Come on, let's go. He's like, all right, I'll meet you guys there. Kessler, come over here. I don't trust these people. Come over here. Mm-hmm. Bellatrix is like, no, we'll wait for you. And it's like, yeah. no, don't. She's been a fucking yes, we'll huge dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's terrible. <laughs> right? the, the, Corina, the, the I think, is her name. The character in the show is trying to act like she's not about to murder right? the child. But no, she's the worst hilarious. actor. Hilarious. And it's like, it is so bad. I, li- yeah. I liked it, though, because I just, I want somebody, I want to just gouge somebody's eyes out in rubble. So my, my ire went to Corina. Who is being a, a dick and in, in, in a shitty, uh, hiding shittily how she wants to kidnap her and kill her and everybody. Yeah. But anyways, so uh, we have that dangerous scene. Uh, but um, Soren's second-hand man still has a little bit of, you know, goodness in him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, all right, well, you know, I don't want Kessler to get behind. Well, all right, I'll just meet me at the fucking ship. Yeah. Um, and gives her a chance to essentially escape. And then Quan shows um, up. Like, but How the first... fuck did you get in my house, Quan? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kessler goes, come out now, Quan. And she'd be like, you've been in my house this whole time, bitch. <laughs> what you been hiding in the in the wall? You're the one telling my kid monsters are real and yeah, your dad's we dead? we about none of that. we just like, all right, it's time to go. To you told him. him my dad's dead. Uh, we get a cool elevator scene uh, with Master Chief. You know, these, these soldiers are assigned to him. I was looking. I was, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. This scene. I was looking at it. I was like, "Well, how tall is he?" So yeah. it's somebody. It's, like it, it's Alex's height, and then guys like me. See. Yeah, it's how guys. The first time he's we... five six or six five. He's six five. So yeah. I was thinking the guys next to him were five six. Mm-hmm. So that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, and these are big military men, but of course, Master Chief is much bigger. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be. I'm, gl- I'm glad we get a perspective shot like this. He basically mm, treats them like babies. Yeah, you know, they're supposed to escort him, and he makes. I like his quibs here. If you were any closer, you know, you'd have to talk about her feelings, yeah, stuff. stuff like that. And then he's like, because he sorry. knows all about sex because he had it. Mm, Remember, with Maki. He loves. And virginity. then he says, uh, "I'm sorry." And they're like, "What?" And <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> the fall like rag dolls around. I'm like, "Oh shit!" And that's mm-hmm. that's pretty sweet. Uh, and he goes rogue. He leaves, um, and he's no longer in custody. Uh, so great. Uh, and then we get a scene with Riz. Uh, so what is? I don't quite understand this. What does Riz want? She just want. Does she just want companionship? She's she just gonna wants die. Somebody we, we're gonna get around some... her, or did she 
have feelings for this guy and then it no, shows she this just, guy's gay and he wouldn't have feelings for her? I think she just wants... What do wants, you think they're conveying? Just she wants just companionship. Wants something else besides just a war and uh, just being like yeah. told what to do. She wants okay. to have She wants a life thing. outside yes, of exactly. what she's doing. Yeah. And this guy has that life. He has a husband and they're cooking dinner. She shows up in the middle of a dinner date and... Um, That's why I think she's going to die. Oh, I think Riz is gonna die. Yeah, for sure. I think yeah. I think I think Riz and Vanek like, is gonna die, both, but both they die, need yeah. to have a Vanek they needs better. to have a they huge body count. Better. Oh, bo, bo. Yes. Just so he, he like, needs seen as a one v one a brood or something. Yeah, like, it, it needs yeah. to be epic. Yeah. And if you fuck that up, if Riz and Vanek are flipping this table, but I gotta move this first. <laughs> I'm gonna move this first and then flip this table. <laughs> <laughs> move <laughs> and then move the camera out of the way. Yeah. yeah. We'll I'll, get you a really small table. A small. Well, Give me a No, we'll, 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 get, we'll let table. you flip the table if it happens. Okay, if it happens. <laughs> Joe, Joe table flip, um, counter income. Okay. It. But, okay, so we have that scene. And she's just looking for uh, a life outside yeah. of her Spartan thing. Um, which is going yeah, to Yeah, that's all she had been born to do. And she's like, I'm yeah. tired of this. I want to do something else. Uh, Kai goes to Ackerson, as we all thought, mm-hmm. for more drama. Um, and betrays Chief. Yeah. She, wants, she wants control somewhat, of Silver Team until he's better. Yeah, which leads me to believe I think Kai is probably going to be a commander in, of the Spartan 3s in the future all throughout Halo. She but might survive. But it doesn't make sense, though. Cause she's no, it like, makes sense. Like that, right? Oh, yeah. Her no, characterization like, seems different. Yeah, because it's like, look, I don't trust him. It's like, I get it. He, he'll get better. Mm. It's like, I, I don't really believe him right now. It's like, well, he just beat up our guys and took off. Yeah. But at the end of this... the. Mm-hmm. They find out. Yeah, fucking uh, Covenant's there. Yeah, like, he oh, thinks she's John's in on right, it and so covering for that him, goes but nowhere. she actually isn't. He kept so her guys, out of the loop. Yeah. So Quan talks about Madrigal and the glassing. Four ships made it out. Uh, so there's still a small chance that uh, n- naked butt cheek uh, pool man might still be alive in the galaxy somewhere if they want to bring him back. Please God, no. <laughs> I'm glad that they got rid of that that side storyline. So good on y'all for getting rid of that. You just you, you missed. You missed Quan, the planetary glass laser missed Quan. So Rogue John is trying to figure out why Oni is keeping a lid on uh, basically the Covenant presence on Reach. And um, we get uh, some... What commander? Pol- Polosky? I forget her name. The disgraced commander mm-hmm. is revealed to actually have still be in Oni. Yeah. Why did you leave? Yeah, <laughs> she she of course knows, and she's probably part of the evacuation plan. Keys isn't because again we have to force the drama real hard. Yeah, um, uh, before we get there, the D crew, D for Dudu, the Dudu crew eva- uh, evacuates uh, or evades kidnap and tries to eva- evacuate on a ship. So we get a scene, and while I appreciate you building out the lore of Halo with, okay, here's what a you know a, a ship hanger looks like and various shipping hangers. I don't need any of the rest of it. They close the door. She unfortunately is not able to get out. <laughs> and her mom essentially sacrifices herself to give Quan a chance to escape with uh, her son. And uh, But before that, she's like, she's telling, uh, Quan's telling him we need to blend in again. This she's like six foot tall, six foot tall, blonde with so much plastic, plastic surgery, high heels. She's also suit. royalty on rubble. And then with the kid with all his toys, toys helmet, and his helmet. So Come on, blend in with these people. <laughs> right here. It was like, you're not going to fucking blend Even in. Even the Halo <laughs> writers were when they were like filming it, they were like, all right, this looks a little it's bad. Like, so we'll throw in a line. Quan turns around, take that helmet off. It, we're trying to be conspicuous. Something fucking simple. Hey, you, you put this puts, hoodie on. Immediately puts it back on. Put <laughs> this hoodie on. Done. Yeah. Put something on. They could have put, they you put done. Kessler on her shoulders and then put a trench coat <laughs> over them. <both. laughs> Was this Obi-Wan? <laughs> it worked there, Alex. It, it worked. worked here. <laughs> it worked there. Anyways. Um, they don't escape. Uh, they yeah. sacrifice. She takes off her necklace, gives, gives it to Quan and be like, here. Keep Kessler safe. This is worth a lot of money. And my money. I'll uh, hold them off. Yeah. And the pirate crew stops them. They start getting into a little fight. They take off. 
and, but they capture her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, meanwhile, it is shown Cobalt team is dead. Yes. The, the blonde that was yelling at Kai, that there could have been a great rivalry over him, you know, but ain't got time for that. Everybody's dead. It's not, it's, this show's not about Spartans. No. It's They're, about Quan. Yeah. They died 80 meters from the relay uh, on the Could forest. Could have been nice to see um, that. That would have been cool. That's yeah. what I thought this episode was leading to. Yeah. Instead, we might, we we might got, see them, you know, yeah, but stuff. no. Uh, instead, we have to do this. Uh, I don't believe, Chief. Like, so the Silver Team couldn't see Cobalt Team dying to elites or anything like that. Uh, there's no body. There, and then the Ackerson's, there's no bodies. They are still MIA. I'm like, ah, motherfucker. And they got a great scene. Admiral Keys. Let me just sum it up. We've already talked about it in the uh, the re- review. He's just, I love the line. Go fuck yourself. He's like, are you on my team? Can I count on you to be on my team? Go fuck yourself. And I was like, yeah, I, I want to say and that. Stay too. here, yeah. fight. Um, but what's good is he Ackerson's a dick, but he's technically right. Here's the scene where I thought Ackerson was going to tell him because Keys is like. He does tell him. He told him, he's like, tell me what you knew. Did you know they were there? What did you mm-hmm. tell Cobalt team? Mm-hmm. Did, but he didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. We still have no idea yeah. why he just sent them to their deaths. Why mm-hmm. would you get rid of one of your best assets? <laughs> it, it, did they get something for you? Were you just confirming that they were on reach? But didn't you already know that they were on mission? reach? Like, what, I don't. We don't. Fuck? We don't understand you can send that. A squad of Marines and accomplish the same yeah. thing and not get. But if this is like I said, if this is one of those things where he is sacrificing all of these Spartans because of the the Halsey thing that he doesn't like her, then then like this show gets an F. Where he gets his own Spartan program. Yeah, or something it needs like to be that. explained. That can happen. Yeah, but it has to happen after the whole world is destroyed because sure. if you're trying to prevent the annihilation of the I human guess. race, maybe we don't sacrifice right. the current best weapons. Yeah. That's gonna be big. Okay, well we'll keep, a, we'll keep a note on that. Yes. We'll put a little it's pin big. in that. It's big. And then um, yeah, so then the, uh, we have uh, Ackerson and Halsey scene, which some people were really enjoying, but honestly, I kind of feel loud. I'm with Alex. These are kind of, it's kind of spinning its wheels here, uh, you know. And why does he bring Sore into Halsey? He's Is gonna... he just that maniacal? He just wants to watch them beat each other up or something while while Reach is blowing up all around them. I I don't understand what that is. He's a main character, and he has to be in a convenient location so that Halsey, during the fall of Reach, Halsey and Soren can break out, get get Cortana, Cortana, and and get the fuck out of there. You're right. Because it doesn't have to make any sense. I just need it to happen because... Because I was like, what does he have planned here? And it's like, no, Joe, you're not understanding. What do the riders have planned? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, we need to get, we need these characters together. We need to together set aside because, our differences yeah. so they can break out together. <laughs> yeah, he's going to threaten time. her and stuff and then she's going to try to reason them and then there's going to be Cuz he probably is going to his, his plan was just just watch them argue, get enjoyment and then once reach glasses the planet, leave them there. Yeah, probably is what yeah. he was going. I'm just trying to guesstimate. Anyways, yeah. uh, then we get the pirates interrogating Soren's wife scene. I thought they would have just killed her or something, but no, they kept her she alive. Has a good heart. And yeah, where, but not Billy. Tricks. Wants to know where the stash treasure is, and she just laughs, and I laugh too. I'm like, what are we doing here? This is Halo. I don't give a go fuck back about that. Go back to Reach. Go back to Reach. What the fuck is going on over there? Thankfully, uh, he tries to airlock her to get her to say stuff, and then blood splurts. And I was like, wait, that's not how that works. And it was like, oh, it's from the wrong direction. Yeah. It's from him. And who is it, Joe? Who saves the day in Halo Season 2, Episode 3? Fucking Quan. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Quan. I kind of knew it because like Quan saves the during, day. Yeah, during the ship, you hear uh, somebody tapping something, mm-hmm. and then he's like, "Go check that out." It's like, it's fucking Quan. It's fucking go check Quan. that out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you go. He, he, the, the other guy didn't come back. You go check it out. It's like, right, it's noise. fucking Quan. It was Quan, and she kills um, him, and she also kills. B- what is it, B- Bellatrix? Bellatrix. Bellatrix uh, from Harry Potter steps around. I'm like, yeah, yeah, get her, Quan. And I'm like, wait, oh, damn it. <laughs> I, they're going to do their best, I think. I think the showrunner is like, yeah, we know everybody hates Quan, but maybe if we give her these, this and this and this and this, reduce her role, maybe they'll, they'll chill. So we'll see if it works. He's got a plan. We'll see if his plan works. Uh, like I said, the big reveal here is Chief Rogue goes and meets Perez. She's in some kind of like high tech church, I guess they, you know, 
still believe in God. I don't know what what um, denomination this is. Mexican. But Mexican denomination. <laughs> <laughs> the Catholics, <laughs> the Catholics right there. Come on. <laughs> and uh, the big reveal is that she, yeah, Maki's real. She saw Maki too. It's not just him. It's not yeah. a vision. He's yeah. not dreaming Maki or whatever. And she decodes the signal, mm -hmm. which is a covenant leader just talking shit. <laughs> We're, We're here. Play. We We're come without you. mercy. We're gonna sacrifice you. So you guys are about a fucking demon die. too on the altar, skull on the altar. I don't know what that's all about. That's Master Chief. Master Chief. Chief. We're him, gonna him put him there. And his yeah, but that gonna, shit ain't happening. We blood's gonna shit. show us the way. Well, the Covenant know that Ackerman doesn't like Halsey, and that Ackerman is gonna sacrifice Master Chief because he doesn't like this woman because that's strategically sound, and so mm. that's that's how the. Mm. You know, all right. Well, no good. No, and no. And then act. explosion. And then yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, I don't can't forget about oh, the did they, explosion. Did they tease that the, the fall of Reese is happening now, or is that it just to, I don't know a bomb no. somebody said for no reason? It has to. Be. It has to be that yeah. they're gonna. So He's, episode four is gonna be the fall of Reese. No, let's go. Episode four is going to be Quan and uh, the lady going to find Kessler because she if Kessler. that happens, we have to. So they. She it, might be right. So, Reach is an exploding Look, all has, around i know the explosion delayed and time stopped joe so that we can have an episode yeah, yeah. With Don't say they have, well, they have no. to find the kid right because they left the kid on the transport mm. I don't know why. Quan left the kid, kid on the transport. Him. And so she left the kid on the transport. We don't know why. Yeah. She could have easily just taken the kid with her. But they have to go rescue the kid because then they're going to go rescue Soren and they know Soren is on right. reach. <laughs> Why else? That's what's going to happen next week. Guys, uh, our next Reach review is, is going exploding. to be low. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it's going to be low. Anyways. I don't have time for you fucking Quan. <laughs> well, they could cut back and forth between the no, fall of Reach and, and Quan. No, that's not what I want. Okay, and here's I know what I want, what Joe. Get. Predictions time. I want Quan to sacrifice herself <laughs> to save a bunch of yeah. people on the planet. And maybe she helps Soren and Halsey escape with Cortana or something. That's Kai, that's she Venic said, and she and, says that she's guilt feels guilty over Majigal, so she's got that survivor's guilt. So she's gonna sacrifice. This is ideal. This is what oh. I want to happen. And then is that like what you said, think is gonna happen though? Soren and Halsey. I, yeah. Well, that's hopeful. What I know is gonna yeah. happen: Soren and Halsey escaping with Cortana during yeah. the invasion, and shit goes down. Um, and then I hope if they kill off Silver Team, which kind of seems like they are half, uh, you know, half of the team, yeah. maybe set up Kai as the, a leader in the background on the fleet. For sure. And then Riz and Vanek could have glorious deaths, but they need to be glorious in the Fall of Reach. And then um, I think Quan has a bigger body count than. Uh... The Spartan game. maybe Perez since Perez is with <laughs> Chief different body count. <laughs> they, they try to save Perez's family, but yeah. the, no, the, this seems like that kind of show though. Yeah, but they where don't. oh we couldn't save the family in time. I don't know. And then uh, he needs to go get his armor and a gun probably before he goes to save the family. Yeah, and here um, Riz and Vanek will have noble team deaths. From the lore, this is on Reddit, and a guy going and with them going out, delivering Cortana to the Autumn, and one of them getting the same death as Six. Uh, but uh, some people think Soren will probably replace Noble Six in that situation, but I don't think so. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they do the transition from the fall of Reach into the discovery of the Halo and the Pillar of Autumn in between getting to the Halo thing. But we're not there yet. We we're still no, have to we're do not it. doing that. We're doing the fall of Reach and we're doing the Quan story. I know, and the but the last we're episode is episode eight and it's titled Halo. So I'm I'm thinking that we might get it. Well, the whole show is called Halo. We've we only and eight. peaked at it for 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I think the other reviewers and stuff were given the first four episodes, like IGN and all that, so I'm wondering if, like, that kind of neatly does it, and then, uh, you know, five, six, seven, eight is 
you know, what is that? Is I think it, five probably is the fall is of the Reach. Fall of Reach. Yeah. Four is like the beginning of the fall of No, four is what you said we, it we was. Have, we have where, some catching up to do, right? Yeah. Like, we have to figure out what Keys is going to do during the explosion. Where is Miranda Keys? Uh, we, she set up in season one, and she is not here. Who? She's in promotional material. <laughs> Who? Who? The girl, the daughter of... <laughs> I forgot yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah, we've seen her in promotional material. She'll probably escape with Halsey. It'll be like, I, you know, I don't want to, but I'm going to work with my mom again type type thing uh-huh. um but yeah we've got we have to all of the storylines are not up to the point they have not budded up to the fall of reach to where we can all just be in one i just want to converge on everybody in one fucking plot line and moving forward you got two weeks next week i don't think he's gonna do it for you nah i don't think so either all right well i think alex is right well we shall find out together as uh the next episode is watch called, me Let's flip a table <laughs> watch joe flip it they, they're not gonna die on episode <laughs> three four joe nobody they, <laughs> on the wikipedia nobody's bothered to put the um episode recap for episode oh. three nobody's done it yet uh oh shit episode four is called reach Oh, that's Shit's look. I want. On, I want it to be. You. I want it to be the fall yes. of Reach, and I want them to skip all of this. We got to wrestle. And episode wrestling. five yes, is Alaria, it. and I don't. I don't know what that is in the lore. And then there's uh, next is Onyx. I don't know. And then Thermopylae, and then Halo. So if we do get the rescue, I want it to be like three minutes. That's it. Yeah. Just that's the it. What? Three minutes. Kessler. Res- Kessler. Oh yeah. Just yeah. be three minutes and then that's it. No okay. more no more of them. <laughs> well, our ratings are in the balance. Uh thank you guys so much for continuing yeah. to stick with us and watch it while going through this with us. And we'll let you know when it when it gets better. Uh so thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye guys.